The cars are referred to as his sons. He is the father of these cars, and I'm lucky enough to have both of them. And he signed the NSX, which I think is pretty cool. So, uh, it's got a uh, burn-up front bumper, uh, SC-style hood. Helps with cooling a lot, actually. The whole car has uh, the air dam plates underneath, so the bottom's basically just flat. Um, the interior was all gone over and redone. Um, let's see. Here is, uh, the engine. The top is stowed away under here. And, uh, how that works. Tops in this. There's the engine. Clean engine bay for the most part. All factory except for cannon intake. I do have, uh, uh, custom exhaust on it. Uh, all titanium. Um, Vinny's side skirts. Uh, they're very sought after. Uh, they have really great fitment. Uh, they're much like the Marga Hills. Same styling, but better fitment. Uh, let's see. I put the factory wing back on. Um, here's my air suspension setup. Uh, D2 bags, sorry about the shake there, D2 bags, I got uh, dual compressors, the Viair 440s, um, and uh, I have the 3H, but right now it's only operating under pressure because I have not put in the uh, height sensors yet. Um, what's nice about airlift system here is can all be done through your phone so just to give you an idea just press down and it airs down and this car is really laid out when you do that so it's pretty much laying frame right now put it in monster truck mode <laughs> That's just funny to me. Carbon fiber uh, canards here. Let me do a startup. Put a, I still have the factory floor mats, they're in really good shape, but I wanted to keep them that way, so I got these Zanardi Edition floor mats, put those on there. This is uh, number 236, uh, this car, so. Formula Red is the color. Later on, I believe in uh, 2000, they came out with new Formula Red. Um, so this Japanese nav pod, I put a Nexus 7 in it. And uh, I'll do a startup. So one of the cool things is uh, this nav pod, when you do the startup, um, because it has a Nexus 7, I have a whole boot up screen custom video of the car. Um, here is the key, uh, NSX key, it's a uh, titanium coated, uh, for a titanium look or something like that, but that's what it is, so.
saviors the different pictures of the car. But uh, it's nice. It gives the car an updated look and feel. It has, uh, you know, Waze navigation, Google Maps, uh, Google, whatever I want. So it um, uh, shows my speedometer on there, all GPS verified. Uh, there's a lot of things. I can read all my OBD2 stuff off it so I can see my fuel pressure, oil pressure. It's a good anti-security thing because the Nexus 7 has a front-facing camera. Uh, this will be on all the time, and if it senses motion in the car, it'll send my phone a text message um, if there's any motion inside the car. So if there's car thieves or something, I could actually FaceTime them and, uh, you know, start the extortion process where I tell them to leave a thousand bucks in the car and get out and I won't call the cops. <laughs> Maybe if uh, enough people try to steal it, it'll pay for itself. All right. <laughs> uh, so here's the exhaust there. It's very raspy with this setup, but it sounds nice. So. It's a uh, carbon fiber shift knob. It's actually weighted, so the carbon fiber, it's real carbon fiber, but it's just for looks. It's actually got lead inside it. Weighs 1.1 pounds, but it makes for nice, uh, nice throws. Um, they do sell a Comtech short shifter, but in this car, it's really unnecessary. The throws are so short. It's there's first, second, third, fourth. It's just they're they're very close to each other, you know. So anything shorter to me is unnecessary. I have driven NSXs with Comtech short throws, and yeah, so. Uh, but, that's it. So, that's my new NSX, and I hope you've enjoyed.